guys so it's one of my favorite videos again today it's one of my travel videos Wait, come on so instead today i'm going to give you three hints on where we are so the first hint is it's landlocked between three of the biggest countries in europe the second hint it's one of the richest countries in europe and the third and final hint the flag should be just behind me now so there are three clues and I'll give you five seconds. So yeah, we're in Luxembourg and what a country it's been so far. I've been about two hours and I never realized how beautiful it was. So this is my view right now. It's beautiful. We've got the flags and everything behind us, but honestly it's stunning. So I came this morning at around half nine and I'm leaving tomorrow evening about half nine. So I've got basically two days here. I'm staying up in Beaufort, Beaufort up north. Um, obviously I can get the train there, but the big thing about Luxembourg is all the public transport is free. So I can go wherever I want for free and that is crazy. Let's do that thing where we show you how I got here. Let's go. Luxembourg is a landlocked European country with it being situated around Belgium, France and Germany. It's the second richest country in the world, all this whilst maintaining being one of the smallest countries in Europe. It's also extremely well known for its wine, being a tax haven and being the home of the EU. Let's get back into the video. Okay guys, so hear me out here. I'm on the bridge. I'm below the bridge. So the bridge is above there with the tram line and everything. And this is kind of like just a walkway below. But oh my God, it's cool. So that's where I was over earlier. And there's a monster drop. It's generally stunning on it. But all the major places here are kind of in very close proximity. Um, so yeah, I think let's just do the montage of the major gaffes. Yeah, okay, definitely a fan of Luxembourg now. Check out the skate park. Oh my god, that's a beautiful skate park. Yeah. All right, so I'm currently at the Boc Casamate. So this is an ancient ruin from the 12th, 1300s kind of. It was used in the 1900s as a bomb shelter during the World Wars. So it's super interesting and it's got an amazing view. So yeah, it's honestly stunning. And there's so much history behind it. Like, obviously Luxembourg was occupied by the German forces during both World Wars, even though they did declare neutrality. But it's just kind of amazing seeing it all action. It's kind of seen like, what the lives of people are like during that time. And it's honestly gobsmacking. And no country has this right to be this beautiful. It's honestly crazy. So that's the other part of it there. Cross all the way over the bridge now. It's crazy though, because you've got all the scenic bit, the older bit here. And then you've got a new bit, so there's a Microsoft office just on there. And it's all really built up. I think it's honestly like the perfect mix between city and industrial. Right now, I'm just about to go to the hostel. 
it's an hour and a half away via different public transport but I just can't believe that it's going to be free so I'm going to get a train and a bus and I'm paying for none of it like that's revolutionary I can't believe that's the thing in Luxembourg but it's chaos um, so here we're going to go to the hospital get checked in everything maybe have a power nap and just maybe go on a little walk see what's around go for yeah, it should be really nice and I'll show you guys the journey there and I'll show you the hostel we get in. I was expecting like a dawn like last time when I was in Galway, but it's, I've got something completely different and I'm gassed because this week I've been so lucky with hotels and that. And this was meant to be a hostel as well. So this is a room. So obviously I've got two singles right here. No one else is here yet. So that's the mad bit. And then bunk beds. You know, I might be a bit bougie on top bunk. Just the memes, even though I've got two single beds. Now screw it, I'm putting the single beds together. And then this is the mad bit, right? So we've got these chests of drawers in that here, which are so nice. Like, they're so nice. Obviously, I think they're expecting like a family or something, but I'm enough to do a family. Got a big mirror in that to pose in. Then we've got the first toilet, well, the only toilet. But to have an ensuite in a hostel room is crazy. Even to have a toilet in a hostel room, it's crazy. I think it's only happened to me before, like once or twice. And that was in like eight man rooms and that. So this is mental. But then this is the big one. This is the big one. I've got a shower. I've got a shower in my room, which is crazy. Like I've never had a shower in a hostel before, like in the room. Uh, what, what am I to do with this information? What am I meant to do with it? Sorry, I just can't stop. Like, what am I meant? This is, I'm for what? 23 euros for the night. So that's about 20 pound for the night. What the? Luxembourg is heaven. I think it's probably, other than Australia, because that was always, that would be my first love. Luxembourg is my second favorite country I've ever been to in my life. It is mental here. Like, I don't get it. Like, what? So I'm going to go get a plug adapter, just walk around Beaufort. So apparently it's like a little Switzerland. So I'm really intrigued because I've never been to Switzerland. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just have a little wander around, put some shorts on, because my legs are knackered. And I want to get a bit of a tan on them. So yeah, whack some shorts on, go out, have a wander, and have a very early night. And we get breakfast in the morning. All right guys, welcome to the second and final day in Luxembourg. So I actually slept really well. I went to sleep about uh, 8 p.m. because obviously the 2.30 wake up was a killer. Um, but today we're just gonna go finish our jobs. So I need to go get a phone charge because I've not charged my phone the whole time I've been there. And it's nearly about to die, which is not good considering I filmed quite a lot of footage on it. Um, but then other than that, we're just gonna check out. So check out, it's at 10. So I'm, I just need to pack a few things. Just get ready to go. It's a bit grey outside today, but it usually warms up about 10 o'clock. So I've got an hour and a half till then. So yeah, we're gonna go back to um, Luxembourg City, go to this castle museum thingy. I wanted to go to yesterday, it was closed. And then yeah, just probably go to like another little village or town close by and just see what's about. I think it's gonna be a chiller day today. Pick up the charger, thank god. Got it for an Eshna. So, yeah, I picked it up, thank god. Got some food as well. By the side, and instead of going straight back to Luxembourg City, we go to Dijkerk. Dijkerk first. So, I just had a little wander around. It's so, so lovely, so peaceful here. This is my view right now, and it's beautiful. Got the little stream over there, and everything, the bridge. Oh, it's, it's stunning. So relaxing, so peaceful here. 
So yeah, I think we're just gonna head to the train station now. Get the free train. Get the free train back to Luxembourg City. Go to the museum and the art gallery I want to go to. And then I think it'll be time for the flight then. This has been an amazing trip so far. I can't wait for the next few hours. It's gonna be brilliant. I never realised it's at the time, but to get to the museum, I've got to take one of these bad boys to go up the mountain. I'm actually like, madly in love with this place. Oh. Yeah, let's get the tram and see how it goes. Tram to myself. Let's make it cross off the fucking list. Wow. I'm in awe. 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 Not me thinking that I'd actually found the rich point of Luxembourg, then actually finding it. Also, the lift was amazing, just being the tram as well, amazing. It's blue and green in size, no clue why, but it's time for the museum now. Go unfortunately, so I'm currently at Luxembourg Airport. It's behind me, it's super nice, obviously. Yeah, Luxembourg has been a great trip, really, really great trip. It's such a special place. I honestly came in expecting nothing and it gave me so much. Yeah, it's such a beautiful country, and I definitely recommend you go to it in the future because you will not regret it. But I'll see you next week, guys, for another video. Peace.